Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to apply glow in Toon Boom Harmony. So in this scene, we want the lamp to glow. But first, let's check how this lamp looks like in the render view. As you can see, the lamp's color is affected, but it needs to glow to make it more appealing and convincing. To apply glow in Harmony, we start by opening node library and search for glow in the search bar. From the node library, simply drag and drop it to the node view. So this is how it works. We need to connect the glow node to another instance of the lamppost. But in order for that to be effective, we need to isolate certain portions of the drawing by using a cutter node. I am going to get another instance of the lamppost and connect it directly on the composite. So right now, we have two instances of the lamppost, therefore displaying the image twice. I am going to get a cutter node from the node library and isolate certain portions of the lamp. I can do that by creating a drawing that will be set as a mat for the second instance. This mat will help me isolate certain portions of the lamp that I want to glow. We can use the stroke tool with autofill enabled to trace the portions that we need. Just make sure to follow the shape of the portion for better results. After tracing the portions of the lamp, the output that will be displayed will be a part of the lamp being erased or hidden. We don't want that, but instead, we need the invert of that effect. For us to be able to do that, we need to invert the effect of the cutter. You can double-click the mask icon on the cutter node or simply open the layer properties of the cutter and then check Inverted. So now, we have isolated the portion of the lamp where we want the glow node to be connected. To display the rest of the lamp, all we need to do is reconnect the drawing node of the lamp to the composite. So now, we have created a layer for the light, and we have also created the layer for the lamp itself. We can now connect the glow node to our isolated portion. To easily connect the node, you can hold Alt from your keyboard and drag it in the middle of the connecting wire. As you connect it, you can notice the color of the lamp change. You can enable the render view to see the effect better. Let us now improve the look of our scene by adjusting some settings in your glow node. The first portion of its settings is for the blur. This setting can help us simulate the look of how the light is being emitted from the source. We can set the blur type to either radial for static assets or directional for moving ones. For this demonstration, I'm going to set it to radial. We can also change the amount of blur being applied to the asset by changing the parameter of our radius. You can adjust the radius depending on your taste or depending on the requirements of the project that you are working on. For this demonstration, I'm going to set the radius to 20. Now, let us try to change the color of our glow. The best way to do it is by adapting the color of our source image. 
We can do that by checking the use source color option. The intensity option controls how strong or how bright the glow will be. The higher the value, the brighter it will be. For this demonstration, I'm going to set the intensity to 1.5. In order for our compositing to be effective, we want the warm color of the light to affect the color of the lamppost. We can do that by using a color scale node to adjust the color of our asset. Search the color scale node from the node library, then drag and drop it in the node view. Since it is the lamppost that we need to adjust, we are going to connect the color scale node directly to the output connection of our lamppost. You can again do that by holding Alt on your keyboard and snapping it on the connecting wire. For the color scale to take effect, let us adjust the settings inside its layer properties. Inside it, we can see that we can control the values for the R, G, and B, alpha, U, saturation, and value. For this demo, I am going to decrease the value of the green and the blue, making the reds the dominant color. By doing that, we are adapting to the warmness of the light being emitted by the lamp. So there, Using the glow node and the color scale node, we made the scene more effective, appealing, and convincing.